Are those the samples for the DNA bill? Yeah, they're almost ready for the 310. It is a great way to integrate almost all of the sciences, physics, chemistry, biology, with puzzle solving, with solving crimes, which is really popular in pop culture right now. Watching like crime movies and like crime shows and like we do the things that they like forensic scientists do basically. So like it feels like we're in a movie in class. We do a little bit of toxicology. So we do like a white powder lab. We look at poisons and toxins. We burn fabric to look at how the different fabrics burn and gives us an idea is it polyester or nylon. Um, we look at their own hair samples underneath the microscopes. Uh, we look at hair that's been cut versus yanked out. We do a unit on criminal profiling, which is relatively new. We're still working on developing it, but that's really an interest to kids. That's 20 in there, right? We're looking for the suspects in our interrogation, but we're using the science to actually prove, you know, who the guilty party is. It's really exciting to feed on that interest and that excitement and show them this is how it's done or what you're seeing on tv is not exactly how it's done this is how it's done in real life we actually did like blood spatter and i was watching like criminal minds i'm like oh i can see like the blood spatter like that's so cool that tiny little drop of blood may contain what dna Are we the relevancy of CSI shows right now and the course that we offer to our students is very exciting um, for students to have fun learning and to make those connections and potentially spark interest and uh, realization I could do this beyond my high school experience.